Hi guys, my name is Lukas Zelezny and I will show you how to use uh, Data Studio to prepare a simple report that can help you to use a snapshot methodology uh, with your website. So for this example, I will use socialmedia.pl is a Polish website, um, gen generic keyword researcher, create new data source, like I mentioned, it's going to be a search console. So search console and we're looking for socialmedia.pl. We have socialmedia.pl, um, it's without www, it's on, it, uh, on SSL, and we're choosing URL impressions. Connect, add to report, and now we need to insert um, date range. We need to insert filter control and that filter control will be uh, containing landing pages. Additionally, we can uh, add a couple of charts, which will make this report look nicer, more interesting. Uh, so this is what I'm doing right now. We can also highlight this and add a little of uh, styling. So for example, this and, um, and we can also add a trend line we can also add borders when we have this we need to make sure that each report contains different metrics so here impressions url clicks we're keeping and then click through rate uh, next step is to add a table so we're adding table And in this table, this is what we're looking really for. Uh, that's our queries. So uh, keywords that de um, delivering traffic and landing pages and the metrics that we're looking for. So impressions, URL clicks and click through rates. Now we can make this a little more uh, in order. And we will style this to make this more Kind of visual and also I can make this a little smaller so we will have a bit more data visible and that's pretty much it now we can go to view we can uh, make sure that we are looking for a little more data so for example March 2019 to 15th of June apply we can see that uh, during that period a trend line is going a little down on impressions a little down on clicks click to rate is quite stable i can narrow this for example and go to may and june and i can see that in that period um, our trend line is going up in both cases on in, in three cases because click to rate is also improving and right now i can go into a specific page that uh, i have here um, the pages are um, sorted by URL clicks. I can change this and I can make sure that these pages are sorted by impressions. And now view. And I can see that um, here is an article about WhatsApp. Uh, 12,000 uh, impressions in given um, data range. So I can narrow this data and uh, tell, hey, I want to see only data about this one page. And I have all the keywords here. And what I can do, I can click right mouse and download this to Excel. But what else I can do, I can um, do something that um, I often do. So I'm exporting data from given, um, given um, data range. And here we have 11,889 keywords. So download this Excel. And what we can do here, we can highlight this and uh, we can say, hey, sort this first by landing page, doesn't matter A to Z, Z to A, and then by URL clicks, uh, largest to smallest. And when we have a this, what we can see here, take a look, um, we have first, sort by landing page uh, so here is a home page and clicks are going down and then there is another page uh, clicks are going down to zero and then another page another page another page another page and so on and so on and so on i can also 
try to do um, this process a little um, different way so I can sort by landing pages and then by impressions um, this way uh, largest to smallest and yes I have um, these keywords which are giving the most impressions and this is probably our one of the one of the sweet spot um, right now what I can do next is a pivot but obviously um, if I will do pivot like that uh, then I will get lots of um, keywords per URL and not necessarily I can use all of them so please take a look landing page query and then query is going here and you can see if I will collapse this that you have here uh, 200 queries per, per URL or 100 queries per URL this is not something that will, will, will help us let me sort this once again uh, this is not something that will help us because there is pretty much too many keywords per each URL 900 keywords per Facebook FAQ YouTube uh, article about YouTube 685 keywords and so on and so on so I'm doing a little trick I call this trigger and after this sort trigger uh, for a first row where our keywords is equal one and then I'm writing condition if next one equal the previous one then counter must be uh, increased by one otherwise uh, should be reset to one and when I will go like that take a look I have all the keywords until URL is changing and then the counter is reset to one and is starting again and then is reset to one when the keyword when the URL is changing so when I have this um, that way I can then filter and say hey I want only uh, up to five keywords per URL so less than six and now I can copy this to a new table and I can perform pivot and I can do very similar pivot as you saw before so queries queries are going here impressions clicks and click to rate and when we have it this then you can also you need to remember that a click to rate should not be sound click to rate should be an average and voila now when we will uh, collapse this you will see that there is no more than five keywords can be less but can never will be more than five keywords per url obviously here is a special example because i'm using um, amps uh, uh, i was using amps and i'm using uh, this uh, internal links uh, wikipedia style internal links so you can see that urls here are similar after this uh, the, the difference is this hash hash um, uh, but but generally you can you can go and uh, you can look on the main URL so now I'm going to sort this by uh, URL clicks and when I sorted this by URL clicks I can open for example uh, the first one uh, which is about what are uh, days on snapchat and I can also sort this by clicks here and I have my sweet keywords that I can try to optimize this article for so uh, you can see that these keywords are similar and we can go to Google PL and we can try to see if some of these keywords are ranking on position one or maybe not you can see that uh, currently for that keyword I am ranking on position three so I should go to this page and see what else I can do to make sure that this page will be better optimized for these keywords and once this is done we can go uh, to another one this uh, is also a very interesting article best um, blogs about cooking um, so um, best blogs best cooking blogs I can go to Google PL and I can type this keyword and I can see that I am second at the moment so there is only one competitor and again I can go here and I can try to optimize and this is pretty much it uh, I hope you you enjoyed this and if you have any questions leave the comments and uh, yeah let's have a chat about this um, on our 
on my social media channels. So that was me, Lukas Zelezny, and wish you good rest of day. Thank you.